Pancake, everyone! Every architect in the world wants to build something that the whole world will know about. Someone builds skyscrapers, someone builds huge ships, and someone builds new cars. What are we going to talk about today will be bigger than any skyscraper. You've probably all seen the news in the internet or in the telegram groups that they want to build a new Bosphorus in Turkey. And in Saudi Arabia they are building a huge building city that is 105 miles long. And if you haven't, you can find out now. So, we present to you the new wonders of the world. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like and comment below. Have a comfy seat, grab some pancakes and tea, and let's go! Istanbul Canal This is one of the most controversial engineering projects of our time. Turkey wants to build an artificial strait that will duplicate the Bosphorus and turn Istanbul into an island. Why are they doing this, and why is the world community, including the people of Istanbul itself, opposed to the project? The construction of the canal began on June 26, 2021. It is assumed that the new strait will connect the Black Sea with the Marmara Sea. It will be 31 miles long, 82 feet deep, and 492 feet wide. Officially, its task is to offload marine traffic across the Bosphorus and to reduce the number of accidents that occur there. The Turkish government is ready to spend $13 billion on this matter. At the same time, the financing will be entirely from domestic sources without attracting foreign investment. In fact, the western part of Istanbul, with a population of 10 million people, will become an island. The only way to get there will be through several bridges and ferries. What's the trick? It's all about the Montreal Convention of 1936, which made the Bosphorus the heritage of all humanity. For comparison, to sail through the Egyptian Suez Canal, trade ships must pay an average of $10 per ton to the local treasury. To cut the way and go to the Red Sea, the ship with a cargo of 100,000 tons is obliged to pay Egypt $1 million. Suez Canal brings Egypt $5 billion a year. This is the second most important source of income for their country's budget. At the same time, Turkey gets nothing for the Bosphorus trade. The passage of trade ships through it is free of charge. And this is despite the fact that the sea traffic on the Bosphorus is two or three times bigger than that of the Swiss Canal. 40,000 ships versus 15,000. The Montreal Convention, which imposed such an unprofitable deal on Turkey, was accepted under pressure from the great powers. The main argument was that the Bosphorus is a natural object, and therefore it is unfair to try to make money out of it. Today, Erdogan's government plans to dig a second strait, at least to make it pay. Why would trade ships sail through the commercial Istanbul Canal when there is a free Bosphorus? The answer is simple, to save time. The Bosphorus Strait is indeed congested. To pass through it, ships have to wait for a long time for their turn, wasting time and money because of the downtime. In addition, the natural strait is quite difficult to navigate due to the relief and features of the currents. To avoid trouble, foreign ships hire a Turkish pilot who helps to make the difficult passage. By the way, this pilotage fee is one of the Turkish ways to somehow take money from foreigners. The new Istanbul Canal will become much easier to navigate and probably not so expensive that it will be abandoned. It will be more profitable and safer for large trading companies to use it. Mirror Line Someday Saudi Arabia will have a skyscraper about 1600 feet high, where millions of people will be able to live inside. In fact, it will be a huge city, because the structure will be 105 miles long. And inside there will be everything necessary for life. Apartments, stores, pharmacies, beauty salons. There will also be underground transportation that runs on renewable energy. The ambitious project became known in January 2021. It was announced by the authorities of Saudi Arabia. Initially, the skyscraper city was known as The Line, but recently it has been renamed in Mirror Line. Together with the new name, the project got several innovations, among which there are both good and bad. So let's find out why this all so, let's find out why the Lone Skyscraper is suddenly called Mirror Line. What will it become according to the new plan and when will it be built? 
Initially, the future skyscraper was given the name The Line because they wanted to make it into two parallel structures, 1600 feet high and 105 miles long. After the announcement, the structure began to be called a city, because it was planned to create a living space for at least a million people. The cost of construction of the skyscraper city was estimated at $500 billion, which is highly expected. Such a large construction cannot cost less. The project is still going ahead and the Saudi authorities are so serious that they recently doubled the amount of money and made some amendments. The new name, Mirror Line, makes it clear that the structure will be made as a long line and will be entirely covered by mirrors on the outside. The second innovation is that the structure will be shorter than expected, with a length of 558 feet. Despite the reduced space, as many as 5 million people will be able to live inside. How they're going to fit in there is not at all clear, but we can suppose that the builders will simply reduce the number of stores and other facilities. In addition to stores, cafes and beauty salons, there will be a stadium for sports competitions at a height of 984 feet. It is reported that every resident will be able to walk to vital places in just 5 minutes. Inside the skyscraper, there will be entire urban areas between which it will be possible to move by underground transport, which runs on renewable energy. The trip from one district to another will take no more than 20 minutes. Not far from the skyscraper will be the Red Sea Coast, a good excuse to build a marina, as the builders will do. If you thought that $500 billion to build a skyscraper was a lot of money, here's the shocking news. Because the plan for the project has changed slightly and become more complex, it has been allocated as much more money. The mirror lane now costs $1 trillion to build. In October 2022, OT Sky published a video with the process of building a skyscraper city in Saudi Arabia. The footage, captured by a drone, shows numerous excavations digging a wide trench in the desert. In this trench, there are plans to build the foundation of the city. How can skyscrapers hurt nature? According to the Wall Street Journal, despite excellent funding, the project is already experiencing some problems. Firstly, it is difficult for the Saudi authorities to attract foreign investment. They do not want to give them money. Secondly, the Mirror Line skyscraper project is opposed by ecologists. They believe that the mirror structure of 1,600 feet high and several kilometers long will confuse the birds and cause their death. In addition, the huge construction could affect the weather, if not in Saudi Arabia, then in other countries. Everything in our world is connected. But the authors of the project themselves are convinced that their project will only bring benefits. The Mirror Line skyscraper promises to be one of the most beautiful and largest structures and it will also become home to millions of people. Inside the building, there will be many establishments, and that will create up to 380,000 new jobs. Also, the city can have a positive effect on the environment because there won't be the usual transport. The transport system will be located underground and run by the energy generated by solar and wind power plants. And now the most important thing. When will the Mirror Line skyscraper city be built? At first, it was assumed that the first inhabitants will appear there in the 2030s. But the new plan is so complicated that the construction could take 50 years. Perhaps only our children and grandchildren will see it. But no one can give an accurate prediction now. It can certainly be said of this to wonders of the world that they are by far the most ambitious construction projects on the planet. But we hope that this is just the beginning. Someday, such skyscraper cities will be something ordinary for us, and perhaps something similar we can see or even visit on other planets. We would be very interested to know, what do you think about the Istanbul Canal and Mirror Line? Do you consider them correct from the ecological point of view? And how do you react to such global constructions? Also, don't forget to like it and click the bell. We wish you pancake mood and see you again.